All right. Time to order that room service. Uh... This is not the kind of place that has a room service. I'm sorry. What? Hotels do room service. This is a motel. Just like the summer place was a mobile home and not a trailer. Right. But the other way around. But there's a restaurant and lounge right next door, though. I'm gonna head down there and get us dinner, okay? And I'm going to have a cocktail while I wait. It's been a long day. I'll be back with something to eat soon. Well, all right. That's almost like room service. What do you want to eat? Oh, um, burger? Um, burger it is. Do your homework.
a visitor's guide. Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh, how lovely. Dirt-flavored water. No thanks. Oh yeah, definitely stealing these. It's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. 
I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. I just... Do you think... Could Dad have... <sighs> yeah, she's here. Hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke. Back in a few. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. This is all... It's... Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I... honestly, I'm not sure. Me neither. It's so... surreal. I can't imagine Grandma having an affair. But I also don't think she would have if it wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah. It seems pretty out of character, but she was an interesting person. My dad... I was still pretty young when our dad died. For your mom, I think this is all a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never... really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah, I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. Nightshade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about Mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. But why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. L love you too, Anne August.
and Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line, and of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before, and he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess? What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! It might be gone if we don't go back for it. I'm sure it'll be in the motel lost and found. We can pick it up on the way home. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We Yes, can... we have. We left one hour and 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get You know, your... I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. Y y you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us. I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself, especially if you're so far away. Your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder dad left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about dad, actually talk about dad for once? The divorce, the- I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business, I'm going- From your business. I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? 
If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth. It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out before I change my mind. Agreed. Trek? That's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Ew, 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 why? 
Why on earth did I just touch that? Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could ya? How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or... But we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think... If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Tails. I won! Just be careful and stay away from the edge.
Wow. This is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh. You mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. A letter from Grandma! Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where you and Dad were still together? <sighs> I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> Never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? and pattern tights. But really, put that down. It's locked. This must be where the money is. I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <sighs> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Three 
$3,000 for a houseboat? Are you saying that's a lot or a little? These are like $1968, right? I mean, $3,000 then is probably like... $10,000. Yeah, probably around that. Maybe even more. So, what else could you have bought for that much back then? A car? A nice car? Probably. Maybe. Yeah, so this crappy boat for the same amount you could buy, like, a sports car with? Seems like a lot. But you can live on a houseboat. You could live in a sports car, if you don't have a very high standard of living. Yeah. Much higher standard of living on this rotting houseboat. Cool. Nobody to spy on, though. Damn, 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending $6 on a steak lunch. Or $7 for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. Dodge this. Just like Silent Hill. What? Oh, it's... It's this video game we played at Francine's house. It's a horror game. She really likes that stuff. Seriously, Tess? You're thinking about video games right now? It's foggy in the game. Oh. Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre.
You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kinda nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother... sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery, it was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware, I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? She had two kids at home, and... I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Am I wrong? <sighs> Maybe not. Boy, he really burned through it. 
I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah, seems like he really loved it. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter, because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little Houseboat on the River? Rolls off the tongue. Wow, that is a lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat. <clears throat> Attention, every... Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. Should have seen that coming.
So I guess that's it? Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her mind? I think maybe she wasn't so convinced in the first place. Well then, why string Pierre along like this for so long? He bought a boat and fixed up the kids' room and everything? Maybe she just wasn't sure at first. Or didn't want to hurt him. Oh yeah, I bet he felt great about reading this. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you could be so nosy sometimes. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. Is that how that works? I don't know, probably. Makes sense to me. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh... I... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <sighs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you'd thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. 
That really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... abandoned us. All this time, he was... here. I, he gave up his family, his children, for an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother living... a lie. For the rest of her life, I can't... I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive, I just... Wish it didn't turn out this way? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything, even when we were all grown up? Maybe... maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad. <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> Beautiful... Hard-working... Stop, stop! You make me cry. <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Hey, Mom. I was thinking about something. I wonder what Grandma would say about all this. <laughs> Good question. What do you think? I don't think she'd be too happy. Now, girls, I hid those private things away so people wouldn't find them. I don't know why you couldn't leave well enough alone. Well, if you didn't want people to find it, maybe you should have gotten rid of it. Well, okay. Maybe I did want you to find it. A little bit. So you asked about what happened with me and dad. Uh-huh. Well, your dad, you know, was always looking for the next thing. Always had a new idea to try that was going to fix all his problems, our problems. And for a while, it was the video store. And then that sales thing. And then he decided that he was going to be a professional poker player. Is that what you meant by full-time gambler? Yeah. I mean, not really a gambler. He's not playing with his own money. It's all tournaments and stuff. They're playing as a sport. And 
That's insane. Didn't anybody tell him the house always wins? Oh, I did. But this isn't playing poker against the house. It's against other players. There is no house. Believe me, I heard all his justifications. There were plenty. And even though he's been gone for a couple years, he's never told me why he's really out there. Why wouldn't he tell me? Maybe deep down, he's not so proud of it. Maybe he just didn't want to tell me till after he'd hit it big? So he chose right when Grandma really started getting sick and we moved in to take care of her to go off and follow his dream? He must really like poker. He likes it. But I wouldn't say that's the real reason he left. The split came at a really hard time. The theater was doing worse and I was spending all my time there. Then your grandmother started really declining and needed more and more help. I think when I decided we needed to move in with her to care for her, well, being a full-time caretaker for his mother-in-law was not something your father ever signed up for. <sighs> so he left for Nevada. He wanted to stay married. Said we could make it work. But by that time... It was already over. Yeah, exactly. I realized that this... This was a pattern that would never really end. Do you blame me for ending it? No, I get it. You needed his support, and he just... ran away. Kind of forced your hand. Yeah. Kind of. That sucks, Mom. But I do miss him. I'm sorry... for buying the tickets. Oh. I should have talked to you first. I guess I thought... I don't know, that Dad, like, explained everything to me... in a way that made sense, and... That he was living some great life out there. No, you... You shouldn't... Apologize. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I... I guess I was embarrassed. That I would have married such a ding-dong. Professional gambler. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. But I guess you can't keep running away from your problems forever. Now I have these tickets and I don't know what to do. I think you should go. To Reno? Yeah. I think it would be good for you to hear his side of the story. We may not always get along, but he's not a bad guy. And you guys have a good relationship. You should spend some time with him. I think it'd be good for both of you. Uh, are, are you sure, Mom? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's not over Thanksgiving, right? Oh, God, no. And Miss August mac and cheese? Fat chance. I'm proud of you, Mom. <sighs> for what? What do you mean, for what? You're kick-ass. How many moms would stop packing up their house to drive their daughter all over Michigan to search for a family secret? Or run their own business, run a community theater? That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe not the brightest idea from a financial perspective, but it is pretty cool. Thanks, honey. That, I mean, that means a lot. And speaking of businesses, that's pretty impressive that you made enough money to buy a plane ticket. Yeah, it's exciting that people are willing to pay me to design websites. Well, I've seen what you can do, and you do a great job. Oh, thanks, Mom. I'm serious. When I saw your web stuff, I mean, I don't always know what I'm looking at, but I know it looks good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> An artist's eye, just like your grandma. And my mom. But maybe it skipped over my aunt. <laughs> oh, come on. Her painting wasn't that bad. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess I always imagined that you'd go to Ford, like Grandma and me. It's silly, but, but it's not fair of me. God knows I didn't do everything my mom wanted me to do. Like seeing Kurt? Yeah, exactly. Amongst many other things. But yeah, it's hard to let go, to see you as an adult, to not just, my baby girl. Mom. You were so cute back then. 
even cuter than now. Stop. <laughs> and you had the biggest head. Everyone said it. Everyone said, that's the baby with the biggest head. Bowling ball head, the bowling ball baby. <laughs> yep, and it was all your dad. On my side, we all have perfect tiny little heads, like golf balls. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about the whole August thing? Moving in with her? Yeah, I guess it's a big decision, moving to Chicago. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. Would you want to move in with her? I'm not sure. What about the Andromeda and Francine? It means starting over, kind of. Yeah, but it could be nice to get a fresh start. We've been through a lot of big changes this year. You've been through so many big changes. But I mean, we're making it work. And whatever we decide, we can make it work. I'm confident in that. Yeah, me too. We should call August and tell her about all this. Oh, hey, August, guess what? Our dad really is our dad. <laughs> you can sleep easy. We're not French Canadian after all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever we end up doing, I'm just glad. I'm glad you're with me. Yeah. Me too.